how intelligently we use our technology depends on our state of being. How to have a healthy relationship with your cell phone seems to be a challenge for a lot of people today. So when I got the chance to ask Ananda Giri from Oneness Academy, I did. Because Ananda, he's a great teacher. He's been inspiring and guiding other great teachers such as Tony Robbins and Oprah Winfrey. He's even been a guide and mentor for Michael Jackson. I have a technology question for you. Mm -hmm. You know, in these times, people are very challenged by co-living with their smartphones. Mm -hmm. And smartphones are here to stay and they're wonderful in many ways, but they can also be challenging for people. Yes. Um, what would you consider to be a healthy relationship with a smartphone? And how and when do you think people could balance with technology? I know there's a lot of talk about technology. Mm -hmm. People complain a lot about it. More and more people are complaining about it. They say technology is alienating people. Mm -hmm. People are all the time on their smartphones. Mm -hmm. They don't have time for connection. I don't know if we should blame technology. How well we use our technology, mm -hmm. how intelligently we use our technology depends on our state of being. If you're going to be in a suffering state of being, a limited state of being, in an anxious state of being, if not technology, you'll be addicted to something else. Technology has replaced one of those addictions. That is all. So what needs to change is a state of being. Yes, 50 years ago, we'd not have smartphones. And if you're suffering, you'd be doing something else instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an easy drug. Yeah. Easy accessible drug. That's it. For not being present. Yes. Mm. So, smartphone is not the problem. The problem is your state of being. That's a symptom. That's not the cause. By removing technology from your life, it's like treating the symptom. You need to treat the cause. Yeah, because a lot of people are saying, oh, you just have to turn off your phone, switch off. No. Then I talk to someone and say, oh, I don't bring my telephone to, I don't bring my smartphone with me when I go on vacation. I'm like, I'm going to bring mine because I'm going to look for the good sides and I'm going to use the maps. <laughs> so that's not freedom. Yeah. If you're in a beautiful state, then you'll use it in a healthy way. We need to use technology. Technology is what has united the world in so many ways today. If you look at the world today, we have more world citizens on our planet today than any other time of human history. Yeah. We have more and more people rising above religion, nationality, race, sex. And technology has played a huge part in this. So we can't really blame technology. We need to work on ourselves, improve our state of being. We must learn to live in a beautiful state. Pardon my pauses, but before we shot this, we did a 30 second meditation. And to be honest, I don't know what happened, but I became so happy and bubbly that I forgot everything about the camera and how I was supposed to sit. Anyway, the key is not the format. It's the content, and I hope you got the message. The problem is not the smartphones. The problem is the pain, the agony, the stress that makes you want to escape the here and now. The smartphone is just a drug. <laughs>